Hello there. This is a short summary of our recent research on offline reinforcement learning for visual navigation. In this paper, we studied the problem of visual navigation, where a robot with an egocentric RGB camera is dropped in a previously seen environment to seek a goal denoted by a GPS location without colliding with its surroundings. Solving the task of visual navigation, however, requires more than simply reaching the goal. For instance, a general-purpose navigation system may need to obey safety constraints like driving on the sidewalk or on the left side of the road, and register preferences such as avoiding a freshly mowed lawn. In each of these cases, we need a way to specify the task or constraints beyond simply specifying the goal, and train the policies that can optimize these utility measures. An effective way to do so is to specify these constraints and preferences in the form of a reward function and optimize them using reinforcement learning. Unfortunately, collecting real-world rollouts for online RL is expensive, often on the order of several years worth of experience. And despite that, flat or end-to-end -end policies trained with RL don't scale well over long horizons, owing to difficulties with value propagation and credit assignment. We eliminate the need of online rollouts by training our policies with offline RL, where the replay buffer for updating the policy is not connect collected using online interactions with the environment, but instead made up of a pre-collected dataset. To deal with issues like value propagation over long horizons, we use a topological graph in conjunction with goal condition value functions. This topological graph contains nodes that represent the observations of the agent at different places in the environment, and edges that represent connectivity given by the learned distance estimates. Such topological graphs have been successfully used by a plethora of prior works to enable learned policies to plan over long horizons. Such a topological graph has two key components, a learned distance function and a goal condition control policy. Given the sample trajectories from the target environment, the learned distance function infers connectivity between them to create a topological graph over images. A simple graph search algorithm can then be used to propose a sequence of subgoals towards the goal node in the graph. Given this sequence of subgoals, the goal condition policy can be used to control the robot one subgoal at a time. It is easy to see that the control policy can be learned with RL, but what about the distance function? To combine offline reinforcement learning with topological graphs, we use an important observation that Q-learning gives us both these models. Importantly, the learned value function with reinforcement learning can be interpreted as a distance metric. For the simplest case of a negative one survival penalty and no discounting, this is easy to see. The optimal value function for this reward directly corresponds to the negative temporal distance function itself. With this equivalence gives us more flexibility. We can now design rewards for, say, a solar robot, which can be seen as discounting the amount of time spent in the sun, which is a desirable transition. This reward function would thus encourage the robot to take detours from the shortest path if it can spend more time in the sun and maximize the specified reward. Similar functions can be constructed for behaviors such as staying on pavement, driving in the grass, among other tasks. Therefore, using this offline queue function to generate the distances in the topological graph, it gives us a graph where the connectivity represents the edgewise goal condition value function. Schematically, our system, Rewind, uses different reward functions, like staying on the sidewalk, sun, or grass, to train different queue functions, which give us both a value function and a control policy, which are then used for high-level planning using a topological graph. This high-level plan is then executed by using the learned policy at the low level, leading to qualitatively distinct paths as shown on the right. In fact, under certain assumptions like full-state coverage and operating in a deterministic MDP, it can be shown that finding the minimum cost path through this graph is indeed equivalent to recovering the optimal policy pi star. Now let's look at some results for the goal for reaching with our system for the same start and goal position. Here we have learned behaviors of three different uh, reward functions, a simple minimum distance policy on the left, driving on the grass in the middle, and driving in the sun on the right. Starting at the same position in the same goal, we notice the policies take different routes to each goal. The metrics at the bottom convey this quantitatively, where the first policy takes the shortest distance, whereas the other policies maximize the amount of time on grass and in the sun, respectively. Let's look at another example of the same policies in another environment, 
not from a third person view. The minimum distance policy is at the top right, the grassy policy is at the bottom left, and the pavement policy is at the bottom right. The difference in behavior is very evident in this case, where the grassy policy takes a massive detour uh, in order to just stay on the grass for as long as possible, whereas the pavement policy takes a rather straight path while staying on the pavement direct to the goal. For more experimental videos and code, please check out our project page. Thank you for watching.